All I have in this world is my balls and my word. And I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? G'day legends, Chaos Chronicles. Well, we are back again with another video. So I thought I'd uh, answer a couple of questions. Well, at least one question anyway. So today's question is from Jim Goodwin, H5C, says, can you do a video on parole? My parole finishes up this week. The whole time my parole officer gaslit me, harassed my partner and would do anything in his power to breach me. Um, it's so shit. I would have almost preferred to stay inside and finish my sentence instead of doing parole. All right. So I guess what I'll say is, so um, I wonder what state you are um, on parole at. So myself, so um, Victoria is definitely apparently the hardest place to do your parole in. Now, I know myself, so I was actually um, not allowed to do my parole in Victoria just because I was on non-association um, conditions and so the Governor-General of our state would not allow me to get paroled in Victoria, so I had to get my parole moved to Queensland. So I went and stayed with my mum in Queensland and I'd done my parole up there. And um, so let's just say 100%. So I've heard that Queensland is the easiest place to do your parole. So unlike Victoria and and, and other places like that, you're not going to get a breach for, um, you know, minor things like, um, say, for instance, if, if you threw a dirty urine and stuff like that, you're not going to get a breach for throwing a dirty urine. They're going to they're gonna do make you do programs and other things like that that will help you get through your parole. And instead of sending you back to prison. Now, don't get me wrong, if you did get a number of um, dirty urines, I am pretty damn sure that they would um, they would send you back. Now, now what, what I did notice, so when I done when I had to get paroled to Queensland, so because I was on a Victorian parolee, and at the time they were, I'm pretty sure they still do it. They do the um, the ankle bracelets. So what what was worse is that so I got moved to my parole to Queensland, and so the very first time I got my ankle bracelet put on, I'm there in corrections, and I've noticed all these dudes were just looking at me, and I'm like, what, what are all these people looking at? And this one dude came out and said it. He goes. Hey, uh, how come I'm, how come you're wearing an ankle bracelet, bro? I'm like, what do you mean? I'm on parole, mate. And he's like, yeah, we're all on parole. We don't have to wear one. And he goes, did you know that only the sour grapists or um, you know sex offenders um, have to wear ankle bracelets up here? I was like, yeah, well, that's definitely not me. So it kind of made me look bad, but um, you know. Um, I didn't have to argue much after that. I just said that, um, yeah, well, that's definitely not me. So um, also, so my, they also helped me do so many things up there as well. So I actually got my, um, two of my crane tickets um, whilst I was on parole um, in Queensland. And they also um, helped me to get my, so I had my medium rigid truck license and they helped me get my heavy rigid um, truck license. Um, and so I guess that's, that's the different, like, so I know that since the new overhaul of the Victorian parole system, it's been pretty, pretty hard for people to, um, especially at the start, I know not, not so much now, but at the start it was very hard for people to um, complete their parole um, as the parole the parole officers just wanted to breach everyone and, and send them back. And, and so that seems like that's what was going on for a long time. Now, I think that, that they've realised that, that that's not helping, you know, but in saying that, you know, people will get sent straight back to prison for having dirty urines and stuff like that. Um, what else? Um, and yeah, so also, so my my parole officer in Queensland did say to me, and I thought it was a trap. And so um, I was um, one of the first people to get prescribed um, prescription um, marijuana, so THC and CBD. And um, so 
I, I thought it was a bit of a trap. So my 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 parole officer at the start is like, so do you, are you smoking any weed? And I was like, no, 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 no way. I, I wouldn't do that. And um, she's like, well, it says here that you are prescribed it. So, and then anyway, she was like, so if you weren't prescribed that, we, we definitely wouldn't care about you you smoking weed. Um, but we do, we do draw the line there. And so she said, although you would not get sent back to to prison for throwing dirty urines to any other kind of powder, you'd still receive some kind of punishment. Um, so I guess, Jim Goodwin, I guess, you know, these parole um, laws are pretty much bonkers um, all around the country, but it is it is widely known that, you know, the Queen, the Queensland parole is probably that one of the easiest to do and, um, and also New South Wales as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so so that's that's a bit. So yeah, that's that's where we're at with with the parole. But um, yeah, I think it's much of a muchness um, with the parole, to be honest, from state to state, and it all depends on, you know, what kind of things you're getting up to whilst you're on parole as well. But I, I honestly think that you know they're supposed to make try and make them as difficult as they can for you, and um, you know. In my eyes, I think they try and do that to try and deter people from from coming back or whatnot. Does that work? Probably not. But um, yeah, I think that you know m- most paroles will probably be the same from state to state. Um, just different different things that you have to do. Like I said, with the ankle bracelets and stuff like that. And you know, like I also said, that you, you definitely are going to end up back in prison for you know throwing dirty urines in Victoria. Whereas you know New South Wales and and Queensland, um, they don't do that. So, but there you go, guys. There is another video there, another question. So I hope that I answered that good enough for you, Jim Goodwin. Um, I actually do have another question here written down from you because I thought it was a good one as well. But, yeah, once again, guys, if you guys have got any questions you want me to answer, I'll do my utmost best to answer them with a video. And, um, yeah, which also reminds me, if you haven't jumped up there and shot me a subscription, that would be absolutely fantabulismo. I would absolutely appreciate that. And, um, yeah, if you smash that bell, that way you'll never miss any of my clips again. I've been the Chaos Chronicles. We I am out. also the guy decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.